Hello, bowling fans, and welcome to the 10-pin puzzler set. This month's 10-pin puzzler rules question comes from Rod in Arizona, who asks, I bowl in this league where it seems that most of the bowlers are there just to have a good time. My average is at least 10 pins higher than anyone else in the league. I think the bulk of the prize money should go to the top team. Isn't that the best way to award the league prize money? Well, Rod, each league is different, and that is why USBC allows each league the ability to adopt their own policies regarding how the league will split up the money for which they are competing. Most league prize lists will use three categories. One, team awards based on highest games and series for the season. Two, individual awards based on highest games and series for the season. And three, team awards based on final position standings. Some leagues will pay a set amount based on the final position standings, while others will pay a calculated amount based on the number of points won during the season. The top five things to remember regarding a league prize list are, one, the prize committee should present multiple options by the fifth league session. Two, prize lists must comply with any adopted league rules. Three, you must accurately project the amount of prize money available for payout. Four, rule 117A and 117B govern league prizes. And five, the prize list is adopted by the league board unless league rules allow the league membership to adopt it. And finally, Rod, if your average is 10 pins higher than everyone else in the league, insisting that they show you the money, like Jerry Maguire, might not be the best strategy for getting the prize fund structure you want during the league meeting. You can get more information on how to structure and adopt a fair prize list for your league by reviewing this document, which is found on the rules page of bowl.com. And that's this week's 10-pin puzzler. This is PB Atkinson reminding you that if you have a rules question that you'd like us to answer on the show, email me at pbatkinson at bowl.com with 10-pin puzzler in the subject line. And if we use your question on the show, you'll receive an official autographed copy of the USBC Playing Rules.